All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem nine to the power of 900 minus nine to the power of 901. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by evaluating my terms. So we have nine to the power of 900 and nine to the power of 901. And these two terms are pretty similar, except that the exponent for 9 to the power of 900 is 1 less than the exponent for 9 to the power of 901. So the easiest way to solve this <clears throat> is to simplify this as much as we can. And a way to do that is to factor out a term. Well, 9 to the power of 900 is actually a factor of 9 to the power of 901. So all we have to do is rewrite 9 to the power of 901 as something times 9 to the power of 900. Well, we can use property of, properties of exponents to do this. So I'm actually going to rewrite 9 to the power of 901 as 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. And now I can use the exponential property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I get 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. So now from here, these two terms have the number 9 to the power of 900 in them. So I'm going to factor out 9 to the power of 900, which is what I said I was going to do at the beginning of the video. So now I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 to the power of 1. And this is equal to 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9, because 9 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 9. Now, 1 minus 9 is equal to negative 8, so I get 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. <clears throat> now, from here, I said I was going to simplify this as much as possible, and we can't really get the exact value because 9 to the power of 900 is such a big number that we can't actually get the exact value for that. However, what we can get is the simplified value, and we're going to simplify it as much as possible. So I'm actually going to move this negative sign to the front. So I get negative 9 to the power of 900 times 8. And this gets me negative 3 squared to the power of 900 times 2 to the power of 3. We're simplifying these terms as much as possible. So I'm going to use a quick exponential property. I say that a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n on 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 900. So I get negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 2 to the power of 3. So this is my final solution to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and even show this to any of your friends and family. That would support me a lot. I have a bunch of other videos similar to these on my channel. And if you're up for any challenges, I have a bunch of those. So please make sure to check them out. And thank you for watching. Bye. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y is equal to 7. So I want to find the values of x and y. So for my solution, if I have something in the form 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y equals 7, I'm going to rewrite 7 as 4 plus 3. So now I have 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y is equal to 4 plus 3. And the reason I did this was because 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. So now I get 2 squared plus 3, 
And notice how I have something in the form 2 to the power of number minus 3 to the power of number is equal to 2 to the power of number, and I also have 3 to the power of 1. Now from here, I'm going to group the powers of 2 together and group the powers of 3 together. So I'm going to subtract 2 squared on both sides. So I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 squared minus 3 to the power of y is equal to 3. And then I'm going to add 3 to the power of y on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 squared is equal to 3 to the power of y plus 3. Now, for my left-hand side, I'm going to factor out 2 squared. So, actually, instead, I should say I'm going to divide by 2 squared. So, 2 to the power of x divided by 2 squared is equal to, well, if I have something to form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So that's the same thing as 2 to the power of x minus 2. And then I have this minus 2 squared divided by 2 squared is 1. And now this is equal to, from on this side, I'm going to divide by 3. So I have 3 times 3 to the power of y divided by 3. 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. So I get 3 to the power of y minus 1. And then 3 divided by 3 is equal to one, so I get plus one. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So two squared times two to the power of x minus two, this is equal to two to the power of two plus x minus two, and these two and 2 and negative 2 cancel out, so I just get 2 to the power of x. So 2 squared times 2 to the power of x minus 2 is 2 to the power of x, and I have 2 squared times negative 1, which is negative 2 squared, and this is equal to 3 to the power of y plus 3. So I'm just checking if we distributed, or, or sorry, if we factored out right, and it looks like we did. So, now going back here, let me rewrite this. I have 2 squared times 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 3 times 1 plus 3 to the power of y minus 1. And Notice how 2 squared, that's equal to 4, is an even number, and 2 to the power of x minus 2. Well, 2 to the power of any number is even, and an even number minus 1 is going to be odd. So we have an even number times an odd number is equal to 3 is an odd number, times 3 to the power of any number is an odd number, plus an odd number plus 1 is an even number. So you have an even number times an odd number is equal to an odd number times an even number. Now, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the even odd numbers equal to each other and then the even numbers equal to each other. So this gives me two equations. I get 2 squared is equal to 1 plus 3 to the power of y minus 1. And I also have 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 3. So let's first start with this equation. This is, equal, this is going to equal 4 is equal to 1 plus 3 to the power of y minus 1. And this means that 3 is equal to 3 to the power of y minus 1, meaning y is equal to 2. So the value of y is 2. Now for 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 equals 3, I'm going to first start by adding 1 on both sides. So I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 4. And now 4 is the same thing as 2 squared, so I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 2 squared. And this means that x minus 2 is equal to 2, and if I add 2 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 2 plus 2, which is 4. So my solution is x equals 4, 
and y is equal to 2.